because I think technically you're not allowed to drill holes. Now over here is probably my favorite addition to the space, which is um, a bike. I got it from our friend Marissa when she was making the move from New York to LA when I first moved here. It's so cute. And I used it to bike to work when I had a job. But then it got a flat tire, and I'm gonna be honest, I haven't inflated it since. Um, so I haven't ridden it in probably like a good seven months. But doesn't she make a stunning decor piece? Yeah. Also, this is our plant graveyard right here on the oh, windowsill. Yeah. These three pots uh, used to be living plants. However, we were away due to COVID-19. We fled New York and went back to stay with our family in Montana. And we had three casualties here. But, you know, just use your imagination. We used to have a very green corner over here. The macrame hanger is from Amazon and so is the pot. I wish it was from somewhere local. However, we were definitely balling on budget when we set that guy up in Amazon it was. So this is another little bookshelf area, mainly for storage. This piece is from Ikea, although it is secondhand. I purchased it from the last tenant of the previous apartment that I lived in for this apartment 
and we kind of spruced it up. We originally were gonna get rid of it. I genuinely hate these cube things. I it reminds me too much of like YouTube beauty guru scenes circa like 2013. Yeah. Michelle sold this thing on the fact that we could put wicker baskets in some of the slots and create Great. more storage. I think the secret of living in New York is maximizing storage where, where wherever you can, honestly. Sure. Very much like Carrie Bradshaw keeps her sweaters in her stove. Anyway, in this basket, we keep all our stuff for our laundry. In this basket, we keep all of our makeup and mirrors. Because as we said, we do our makeup at the dining room table. And this basket holds um, all of our tablecloths and place settings. And over here, we have our printer. Um, very good. In case we need to print some documents, more books. And right here is our like modem thing from our internet. Very glamorous. What about this plant? This plant is Bubba, the reigning king of this apartment. He really does just stand the test of time. He definitely was dying and had a fungus at one point. Yeah. In Michelle's care, he was dying and had a fungus. And <laughs> hey, you wanted to throw him out. Throw I him said that he had thrown him. Colleen did want to throw him away, and I said, let's repot him. And he has thrived since. This pot, where's this from? It's Sprout Home in Williamsburg. Ah, uh, there you go, Sprout Home. Moving on, let's move out towards the center of the apartment, shall we? Right here, we've got a beautiful, beautiful piece. A lot of people forget about this piece. We did a collaboration with Decinio. I believe it was early th earlier this year or at the end of last year? It was in November. Okay. I love this piece. And I think it's perfect for like a dining area because it's a table with food. I'm gonna move right here to this trash can. Uh, we're obsessed with this trash can. This trash can is incredible. Got it on Amazon, but it is so perfect for New York because it separates your trash from your recycling, which again, we're all about like maximizing space and storage. Let's go into the kitchen. All right, welcome to our kitchen. A great space for making food and eating food. First of all, the cabinet space in this place is outstanding. <laughs> So many cabinets. Also, when you first walk in the door, the kitchen is the first thing you see. So yeah. we like try to keep it kind of clean. And things I love about this kitchen, the backsplash, I feel like I take for granted. It is so beautiful. It's really cute, isn't it? Kind of stark at times. Like it is a lot of white, I will say. Also the layout of having one long strip can sometimes be hard for just like the flow of cooking or socializing even. Obviously it's not a big deal in yeah, the right of things. Kitchen. If that's your problem with your kitchen, you're a lucky, lucky boy. But yeah, now that we've done a little overview on this space, obviously you can see kitchen, living room, over there is the dining room, front door, got a little bar cart area. Let's walk you through the elements in our kitchen. Why hello there. Over here, fruit bowl. Also, the fruit is in great condition because we just purchased it. I've never seen a shinier apple. It's a little wooden fruit bowl. This is from Muji. Love Muji. Here's our kitchen aid, like mint screen. It's pistachio. Okay, pistachio <laughs> kettle. We call this the breakfast nook. In here, we have stuff like mugs, tea, granola. That's it. More oatmeal. There's like three different types of oatmeal in here. There is so much cabinet space that we can afford to have a breakfast milk. <laughs> this is from Target. Very cool. Cups and plates, bowls, all that jazz. Basically anything that you would serve a thing in. Right there we got dishes. Dishware. Okay, fine. <laughs> dishware. In this zone, we have our dishwasher. We are so lucky that we have the dishwasher a great. dishwasher. It's, it's one of the best dishwashers I've ever used. My As you've probably noticed from this apartment, this apartment is very new. new and renovated and has very new appliances. It has a lot of amenities. And the reason for this, because if you aren't familiar with uh, New York real estate, is the fact that we compromised on location in order to have more amenities in our budget. Mm -hmm. Our location is, honestly, it's, it's really nice. I have enjoyed living in Bed-Stuy like so much more than I initially thought. Local scene is good. The food's I, amazing. Yeah. However, it is very out of the way from a lot of places that we needed to be, where Aline used to work, where I work, where my office used to be. Getting into Manhattan usually took 
a hefty amount of time, I would say. We don't want to say it's a bad neighborhood because absolutely not. It's just very out of the way. It's half a mile to get to the only train line we have, really. Yeah, and it's the C. So she, A, slow, and B, sometimes very late. So yeah. it makes life difficult. And so something that we've learned while being here, which I think is always a valuable lesson, is like what is important to you. And although we like love having this like new apartment, I would rather have a more like flowy lifestyle yeah. that allows me to kind of come and go with more flexibility. Usually the further away you get from Manhattan, the more you can get for your money. That's just like kind of how it works. So just keep that in mind. So this is on the opposite wall to the main kitchen wall. This is another Magnolia piece. It's a letter board, but at the same time, I think it looks a little bit more refined. Yeah. As you see, it says quarantine queens. We put this up here, like the first day of quarantine. Day. This bar cart was a great Facebook marketplace find oh, again. Me. It's originally from Target and I got it for cheaper, which was great. And I did wheel it through Midtown, which was a fun experience. We have a little aloe plant on top of this little recipe tin that I brought from home. Here are two little kind of mountain adventure themed mugs. Oh. Yes, they were a gift from my boss, Elizabeth. When I interned at the University of Montana Business School, which is where I went to school, this is our French press. We got her for Christmas from our parents. Here we have this decorative Lavazza tin. We grind our coffee beans ourselves, so we do that from like day to day to keep them as fresh as possible. So if we have leftover from the day, they go in here. We also do love Lavazza beans. Oh God, They're I so love good. Lavazza coffee. Call me Jerry Seinfeld. So we're taking it downtown. Um, we've got some booze, not a lot because we aren't huge drinkers. Got a cheeky little whiskey and oak candle to match the alcohol vibe. And we keep our cookbooks here as well as these two random horse corks that came with this bar cart. Um, and I'll eat the horse girl, so you know, totally. I'll try to humor her. Now, if you look to my left, your right, I suppose, this door is actually in my room. I'm right off the kitchen, which is fitting because I love to snack. But if you do go in here, you will find out where I sleep. Let's take a gander. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to my room. Uh, we just came through this door. So let's talk about my room. I am so cute. Really, thank you. It's a lot of pressure to rebrand yourself as a grown up. So let's start with the bed. <laughs> this quilt is probably one of my favorite things in the entire room. It informed a lot of the direction that I was going to take, like everything else. It's from Urban Outfitters. I love the patchwork style and it brings in a lot of colors. At the end I have this blanket <laughs> that I've had forever and probably needs a good wash because she gotten grubby. Um, it's from Urban Outfitters as well. I'm a big Urban Outfitters hoe. I'm trying real hard not to be as of now because of um, the planet, the bed frame. This is just from Wayfair. I try not to use them anymore after I learned that they house detention centers for uh, <laughs> every uh, immigrant's garment. Every company has a dark underbelly of trash. Anyway, this is why we should shop local. Um, but I am a poor person and I didn't know about this. So don't buy it. These pillows, the, the yellow um, shams, they are from Target. These are all from Urban Outfitters. Okay, good. This Arboretum poster, as you can see, is just peeking up to say hello. It is a really nice piece and it also covers up the, this internet bobby, but you can't even see it. It's that thing that you can like choose to plug in an internet wire into the wall, you know, the, you know, the circular you guy. <laughs> so this is the hideous lighting situation I wanted to avoid. Shadowlands. 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 So as y'all can see from behind me, this is more of the, the room. But now you can see those two little mirrors that I have hanging up there. We got those for what, like five dollars? Yeah. For both of them from the French woman. The chic French woman who, in Harlem. Yeah, who got us the, the ladder bookshelf. The window here is bringing in a lot of natural light. I love the light in my room. I also love the garden view. Michelle got the city view room and I do not envy her because um, it can get pretty rowdy at night. I get all of these trees and the fire escape so I've right out there, I've repotted plants out there. It's, it's also so private. 
and in the winter when the trees you know die and the leaves come off then you get a view of the black veterans center the organization uses the space of an old war fort so that's probably the aspect of my room that i'm gonna miss the most so if you look over here um please ignore michelle's dancing so i've talked about these before because we did the collaboration with the so I have a shit ton of prints here. Exciting because I got to get all these prints for literally nothing. And we got paid to get prints. Yeah, so I got paid for these prints. I like how they kind of clutter up the wall a little bit so it does look a little bit eclectic. They were great for the time being and we'll see what stays and we'll see what goes in the future. To my right, your left, um, you will see this full length mirror. This one's just from Target. I don't know why I chose more black pipe. It takes great outfit pics. It worked out well. One day I all plan on replacing it, but it's a great mirror for now, and it didn't cost me an arm and a leg. And there's something to be said about how it matches the bed, so it does tie in well with the space. This is my dresser. It is obviously from Ikea, and I got it in the dark wood color. I like it all right. Like, I was a little bit worried that the wood was gonna be too dark, but I like the way it looks, so not mad about it. Over here, is really the one thing that I paid more than five dollars for this letter board from Amazon and on it is a quote from Shrek 2 Thank you gentlemen, someday I will repay you unless of course I can't find you or I forget Hello? To the left of it, I've decorated with some business cards One is from Bouvet, the chocolate mousse was insane This is from Saragina Bakery, which is a bakery here in bed -Stuy. It's not too far from our house, it's Probably one of my favorite businesses. Here is a coaster from The Wing, who's now problematic. Fave. I don't have a membership, but I go all the time as a guest. I have sent multiple emails to them, you guys, about all the things that they can do better as a fucking business. It was an example of a lot of like white feminism. We all need to do better and hold businesses accountable. Up here I have a Moon Phases card that's just from a pack about astrology. I got it at this general store in Dumbo when my cousin was visiting. Here is just an empty kombucha bottle with some, I don't know, dried wheat. When I want to smell like a boy, this is my dossier. When I want to smell like a girl, this is my apricot. It's a very gendered perfume area, but it is what it is. Over here we have a Lily Pulitzer plate that's full of things like a scrunchie a cough drop, lipstick, and earrings. Over here we have some books, nice. Some of them are comedy books, some of them are poetry. Here are Polaroids. I had a version of this up in my old room and I like it because it is a cheap way to decorate and also put up photos. So I have some old pictures, all of my favorites. It's nice to look at happy times, especially since I was very mentally ill this year. Over here to the to the left, one of the favorite things in my entire room, which is my laundry basket. Big fan, it's from Pottery Barn. My closet wasn't very big, so I couldn't put a laundry basket in my closet, so I need to get a laundry basket that worked aesthetically in my room. So this is this really pretty wicker one. It's also pretty big, I, I love it. I guess I never really talked about the nightstand, so I'll just talk about it really quick. The nightstand is the matching nightstand to my dresser. Over here I have a lamp from Target and I love the woodland creatures. Um, I'm a big fan of nature. Here is a met map and my um, eyeglasses. In this zone, this is the door that leads back out into the kitchen. And this is my closet door. So I can't really have both doors open at the same time, but that's all right. This is my closet, but I keep all of the opposite season clothes in a like storage thing under my bed. So it works out that I always have room in here. I hope that you can, I hope you think I'm organized. Nothing else to say about that. I was a little bit like, that's not enough space because my closet in Montana is like three times the size, but it turns out I didn't need all that space. Thank you for coming. Let's get back out there, shall we? And welcome to our living room. Another favorite. We are very lucky. I feel like our common area is quite large, especially for a New York apartment. The main centerpiece, I think, is our rug, which we worship. We do. This rug is from Ikea, but they keep it kind of on the DL. I had to like look at the Germany Ikea to find it. Oh, wow. I don't know. It's obviously like clean. It's like a neutral, but at the same time, it does add some blues and it has like a funky pattern. Yeah. So it's kind of like grandma, but at the same time, it's still very chic. 
it's a good one and it wasn't that expensive, especially for a rug of this quality and size. Although it does get dirty because it is cream. This chair is from that French woman that we keep talking about. It's um, beautiful. We really like it. Is it the most comfortable piece to actually sit in? No. No. And do I sit on this by choice? No. no. <laughs> but something about it is real nice. This chair uses negative space so it keeps it open. Putting it here, it helps to find like, you're stepping into the living room now. Our couch, we are not a huge fan of. We are probably I hate this to couch. replace it. It's not very comfortable. I'm guessing it's pretty old. Yeah, because we inherited it from our very first roommate that we sublet Michelle's last apartment from. It's fair as well, but it's time to grow up. So we've got some pillows to try to brighten it up. We're not sure about the mustard theme. That's something that we're not 100% yeah. into. I was going through like, a big mustard phase at the time. You want to add a pop of color, especially when your space is so stark. Yeah. Um, and mustard was just like the one color we agreed on. I like this pillow a lot. It's from uh, Burson and Reynolds. Got a H&M home pillow cover. And this one's also from Burson and Reynolds. And this blanket is from Target. Love yeah, the blanket. We love it. It's a nice like knitted, but it wasn't too expensive, which is very rare to find. This big mirror is from Amazon. Um, she is up with command strips. And every day, I thank God that she's still up. When we didn't have this mirror up, it did feel a little bit like uh, like a cement block because oh. there's no natural light in this space. If I turn off all the lights, you will be able to tell. It is very dark. We did not. <laughs> That's something we don't love about this space, but I think that the mirror helps in this illusion to open it up. Obviously, this isn't a window, but I think it kind of like stands in for that. Window-esque. And yeah, great choice. We love around mirror in this household. Here are our nesting tables that our mother gifted to us. She was adamant that we needed another side table. We weren't really sure what the right call was. Here's a lamp that's very basic. Where's it from? <laughs> it's from Target. We don't love it. It looks like the cheapest one you can find on Sims. Because it is. <laughs> Um, over here is a really big asset to the apartment, if you ask me. Which are these? Our tote wall. Our tote wall. These are hooks. This is the best it's ever looked. Usually there's about a thousand things on these hooks. Don't get me wrong. If you're still using plastic bags in 2020, uh, do you have a death wish? Hello there. New angle of the couch. What are trees? This little side table is from Ikea. She is in the gardening section. A lot of people ask me about the side table. We've got over here a little vase of dried flowers and like wheat. Yeah, it's just <laughs> a theme. We got a lot of wheat going on. I don't love it. I love the vase though. The vase was free from the street. <laughs> And this lamp is from Target. Aline really protested for ages and I was like, no, this is what we're gonna get. And then she loves it now, so. And then with the two lamps, what we can do, turn off the overhead light. And then we have this like, ooh, sultry mood lighting. It's not sultry, it's just our TV light. Uh, watch The Bachelor. <laughs> right here, we've got our gallery wall. These are all from Society6. We've got this little geometric guy. They're all very similar. Like a cat color palette, a cute cat with some plants. This is called like breakfast and it's a girl with a croissant, coffee and avocado on her head and an egg. And she's eating some sort of fruit. This is Morgan Harper Nichols quote. She's grateful for slow and steady growth, you know. Just the essentials. My growth is real slow and real <laughs> erratic. But let's check out our entertainment center. <laughs> this right here is our entertainment center. And one of our favorite things that we have in this entire apartment. It's a beautiful piece, another second hand find on Facebook Marketplace. And <laughs> Alina had quite a journey in picking it up. Did right. you go to Long Island City? Yeah. <laughs> So and the nice. guy was late. I think it's both of our styles and it fits so well in the space. I'm obsessed. I don't know if you guys remember, but we used to have this heinous cowboy piece of furniture I'm here sorry. that Aline chose and I couldn't stand it. Yeah, we just have some books and some essential oils to diffuse. We've got our diffuser here, a little Dry. candle, and some fake greenery. We love it. And in this corner of the apartment, we have uh, two little things to share with y'all. One is this Missoula, Montana print from Mapafol. Very cute. Uh, yes, we're big fans. Immigrated to Missoula, Montana like 10, 11 years ago? Yeah, I think so. And most importantly, it covers the heinous electrical box that was here. That'd do. This your basket. 
And you know, it's that basket you got filled with like some extra blankets, but just kidding. The top part's blankets and the underneath is clutter that we just need to hide somewhere. I think that maximizing storage any way you can is so important. We do have sheets above our fridge, which we forgot to mention. Hello, this is our bathroom. Come on in. A great room in the house. It has cute bits. It's just a nice bathroom. We have a bathtub. We have a lot of storage in this under the sink area. I love the light, the fixtures, and the ceilings are really high. I love the tile that lines the bathroom. Yeah. I hate the floor. The floors are very much like the star that a clown would have over their eye. 100%. It's a little bit haunting and it does give me a bit of a headache, a bit of vertigo <laughs> the instant I come into this room. Also, this over the toilet storage, it's from Ikea and it's the, most useful the thing best to thing in the entire world if you live in New York City and you have the ability to um, put something above your toilet This is such a good find All right, let's leave. Oh, also our shower curtain is from Urban Outfitters I did get this two years ago and we get a lot of questions on it I think it's really lovely, but it's starting to get a little basic because everyone and their mother has it mm. um, Lemon and warm. Yeah, <laughs> that's that. Bye and just like that, we've worked our way to the opposite end of the apartment, which is in fact my bedroom. This is honestly the cutest room I've ever had, and I am so sad to leave this space because it's just so nice. I feel really content with everything in here. The best thing about this room is the exposed brick for sure. It definitely was a key selling point for me for this apartment. It's like a combination between like the femininity and a little bit more like of that hipster flair. Mm -hmm. Hipster flair. So I really do love how it balances out and it just adds color of course. I have this little it's okay sign. I believe it's purchased from Etsy. Very inspired by uh, Hello Katie as we all know because she also has this sign. I think it's really cute and this nail was in here when I came in and I just threw it up on there. So that's real handy. As far as the rest of this wall, I've got my bed and I inherited the bed and one of the mattresses from the person who used to live in my old apartment before I moved in. So exciting. Duvet and duvet cover are from Ikea and pillows are from H&M Home and then a couple of them are from Urban Outfitters and Target, and then I've got my little bunny guy right there, which is my favorite friend. Ooh. I'm very awkwardly straddling my pillows right now, but I wanted to come share my gallery wall. I think it's so cute. Again, these are from Decinio, but I really love the combination of prints that I selected. The quotes are a little cheesy, but I'm also a little cheesy, so it's fine. But here I've got my pops of pink because Aline won't allow me to have pink in the rest of the house. So I need to get my pink fill in this space. But yeah, very cute. And I think really shows off my aesthetic. So that's this area, very cozy. Lots of good night sleeps have been had. Not many a lover have been entertained here. <laughs> and we have found ourselves at my bedside. Very exciting stuff. This bedside table is from Ikea and it was not my choice it was my parents choice but they paid for it so I'll take what I can get and honestly as much as I love a natural wood vibe it's really hard to find the exact shade of wood that I like so I just stuck with white for this room like this looks kind of like tinker toy but at the same time it's just very simple and clean which I really do enjoy I've got a little gold lamp right here very fun for reading times um, I'm almost finished with Untamed by Glennon Doyle who is my new icon and I aspire to be her then I've got my jewelry box this is from Burson and Reynolds as well. I got this at a pop-up market in Chinatown. It's by, I'll put the artist up on the screen. And it's very cute. It has lots of dogs and cats and plants and watering cans. And I really like it. It's very friendly. Here are the goods. We've got my best friend, Lexa Bro. <laughs> and this Zen face and body mist. It smells like lavender. And then my Laneige lip mask. And then my guitar is here for when I want to have a John Mayer moment. 
Right here is a basket. This basket, I think we got it at Target when we first moved here. Oh, totally. And we just put snacks in it. We used to share a room that first summer in New York, <laughs> and now I use it for cables. This dresser is from Ikea as well. It's just like the matching set with that bedside table. It stores so much and I love it dearly for that. It does take up the majority of this room. It makes this space tight. It makes this space a little tight, but that's just New York for you. You really do have to just get over certain like layout things because there's just not as much space over here. But I seriously don't mind at all. For the most part, I usually just jump into my bed. <laughs> so the walkway isn't too big, big of an issue. I have my circle mirror from Target on here. Just some simple things like this paper source print, a snake plant, and over here I have this Polaroid camera, which is a little basic bitch 2014. It's cute, it's fine. I've got this cute little ceramic dish that a local artist in Missoula um, was selling at the boutique I used to work at and I love it. She also did give me a little ring holder, which I think is very cute. I got some perfumes, we got some dossier, we got some Miss Dior, and then right here I got another little Burson and Reynolds piece, and this is um, holding a little postcard that I got at a Missouri event, and I just so happen to think that the girl kind of looks like me. And that is this area, and we've made it to the last corner of my room. So over here, very simple, we've got my mirror, this is from Target. Everybody and their mother has this, but I love it. I think it's so cute. Again, very like boho meets modern, which I think is like my what I like my style to be. Not always successful. And here is my closet. Sometimes New York bedrooms don't have closets, so I feel so lucky that we both got closets. Uh -huh. It's just amazing. Um, I do keep clothes under my bed that are not um, for the corresponding season, just like Aline said. However, for the most part, it's a really big space. It's not that organized right now because we are moving out, um, but it stores a lot. And there's a couple shelves where I can keep bins and I keep my dirty clothing hamper right there. That's so much dirty clothing. Uh, no, it's not. So I feel very blessed and I really, I hope that we have another apartment that has closet space. And that's our apartment. We really hope you enjoyed this tour. Hopefully it wasn't too lengthy. We really just wanted to give you an insight into every trinket we own and every chair we have. We're gonna so miss this apartment. It was a beautiful home for both of us. I think it's always gonna have such a special place in our hearts. And I'm so glad we have this video to document this space. Our first little home our together. Our first home. So thank you so much for stopping by and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Now get out. Get out. <laughs>